Let us be trending it at Nigerians. They don't vote Tinubu. I will be trending it all through the weekend into next week. But I want to good evening and you have the space. You're welcome. Man. Okay. I thank you so much, everyone. Uh, well done, uh, everyone. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning. Uh, good night. If it's night, wherever anyone is, is calling out from. Uh, and to say to everybody, uh, it's been interesting listening. I've had to come in and and, and go off a, a bit. Uh, for me, I don't know anybody. Me. I'm extremely happy. And I'm very hopeful. And I'm very joyful. Because the impossible was done. And today, where we are today, I can tell you, it's something that we never expected that in the next six years we'll be here. And here we are. A few years ago, maybe like two years ago, if you had said APC and PDP are not the option, there are a lot of people that will want to kill you. Two years ago, three years ago, if you had said the office of the citizen is the highest office in the land, there are a lot of people that will want to kill you. But guess what is happening now? Citizens are the ones who have taken ownership of the office of the citizen. Citizens are the ones who are saying it is who they decide that is the option, not who the party decides. So for me, that's amazing. I think one of the things that people are forgetting is that what they did. And I'm glad the other person who said, you know, uh, Tinubu should be called a criminal, uh, is it a, a lord, he said, uh, a drug lord and not a strategist. Right from day one, I see when people are talking about strategy, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm looking, where is this strategy? People spent over three, three, three decades. Some of them have been there for over six decades doing all of this election thing. Imagine what happened when citizens decided in 10 months, see what they did. And so because there's one obstacle along the way, people are sitting down saying, eh, this one, that one, are you okay? What nonsense sense of entitlement is that? Also because you decided to come and in 10 months, everything should go your own way, Piaka. Now, so life be. It's a war that is out here. There are going to be a lot of battles. And sometimes you have obstacles, so your business is to bulldoze through the, that obstacle. Where we are today, I mean, because many do not understand. I would give you an example. And I'm, I'm sure Maureen Kabrick is here. I think it was 2018 that we were going around in Nigeria shouting red card. Red card movement was going around. People looked at us and called us mad people. We were actually mad. But what happened? There are many who didn't believe. You sit and you see people talking. Today, it is citizens that are saying red card to everyone. That is not competent. And we don't see the value in that. Judiciary. And I'm glad there was a speaker who said, there was no, but there was never any time that somebody said, trust in judiciary. Is he romance? Are you saying you're still looking for a love affair? What's your business with trusting judiciary? Your business is to overwhelm the judiciary with evidence. Your business is to know that your eyes are on them. Your business is for them to know that it's no longer business as usual. It's not business unusual. Your business is for them to know that hey, before we didn't care because eh, it's none of our business. When either we, we choose between ev two evil, who is the lesser evil? Some, some did that in 2015, some did that in 2019. And we realize that lesser evil, when it gets into power, it becomes monstrous evil. And there were some of us who said, ah, no, never again, even 2019. That was like, Lord, people stayed away from the polls. Some people went, were still on. 2023, people said, no, 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 they won't do that this thing. They will choose who is the most competent. And that's what citizens did. So we are not here to be there in a way to trust. I said, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm getting depressed. I'm getting tired. I'm losing hope. Eh? You're there for pit under the hole. We are already up there again. We already were. We, we, I said, look, we went down. I kept shouting in this guy. I said, look, we don't need activists. People are looking for activists. You don't need activists. What we need are active citizens. And the active citizens are rising. I just see the difference. See this judiciary, everybody has turned lawyer. There's a tweet I saw which was very so, you know, so uh, so so apt. And I'll try and para paraphrase it the way it was. This person said, Oh, Peter Obi came and he made everyone uh how did he put it? Uh, Peter Obi came and he made everyone an INEC official. Everybody was doing registration. 
uh, registering new voters and all of that uh, the, uh, became high neck officials. The next thing, you know, people became politicians. We were all uh, campaigning. And then we became what? We became collection officers. Everybody was putting together the results. From collection officers, so we now became lawyers. And then somebody, uh, uh, Kenneth Okonkona, added that we even became journalists. That's what happens when citizens decide that they will. This country, Niger, where we get, nobody owned that Niger, and all of us get hand. The only thing they've always had is this illusion of power. To make you believe that they have power, they have nothing. More Aisha is so from. If I wanted to rig the election, if I was the one as APC candidate and I wanted to rig election, why will I go and be changing two zero one to two zero? Then you, I will be joining the one to join the zero, and you now have a very fat zero uh, and a small two. Then I'll go and be doing the words. I'll be using tippers to clean it. That means I'll be all dead. Mua Aisha Yusufu, if I decide that I'm going to go criminal and steal election, you know what? I will produce duplicate results. And put as soon as they write and I will not write that for her. As soon as they, they will upload clean sheets with signature and everything. But they don't have that intelligence. They just sit down and kill people. Call on. They Call just on. sit down. They will just shoot people, kill people, and then they are coming to tell me strategy. Which nonsense strategy with the attacker? Uh, Tinibu has it's a lie. They are afraid. You know what they're doing. Let's, let's do. And I like what Doctor is it Doctor Olu just said. And which is just a fact. They are preparing for another election. They know they don't have. You know when you steal, eh? You steal so that you leave evidence. You you go steal fish. Come unfortunately, come they carry the pot. The pot come they leak. You want to see fish, you cook my carry the pot. The pot, you know, come they arrive say they leak. You come they drop soup. They follow you go your room. As they come out that day, now they can't see the thing, can't they follow you, go your room. Now they are then Why you see, say they're not happy? How many of, on a normal day, let me tell you when election is, everybody is sharing results. How many of these people will be saying whether they APC, even, even the PDP man said themselves. Now, no, me, I they tell you, the last time I come now here, I said, me, I know they do violence, so then I may be violence. I don't send anybody, Papa, we die here. I was born to die. Who they fear death? They say one key person. The, the death is different from the container where they fall for person head. These are people. How many of them did you see them sharing their results? Because they had no result to share. They were sharing these votes. They were packing. APC was packing. They were not. Yeah, they became. They became together. This one will carry on job for this. I mean, when I take this one in places like Adama and Co, they will not pack. Okay, give PDP this one. That one carry. Give give that. Uh, give this thing. So, once upon a time, they say we couldn't win Lagos. <laughs> I'm on the rig, rig, rig. Do you ignore rig? We still win the Lagos, even with the rig. Doesn't that tell you something? And you are sitting down saying, I'm depressed. How dare you? Depressed. I've said this thing before, and I'll say it again. The result is not your business. You and I, we don't have, we should not focus on the results. We don't have control over the results. You know what we have control over? Our effort. And that's what you should focus on. Wake up in the morning and say, ah, ah, what, what I did yesterday, if what you did yesterday is looking big to you, then you are not doing enough. It was Jim Rome that said it. Oh, I, you know this movement. I put so so amount of this. But, ah, go and sit down. And... The people that are killing you are not sleeping. You don't have any business closing your eyes. It's as simple as that. People are saying, I'm tired. I'm tired of what? It, good. Good. Must be as tenacious as evil. Buhari spent 12 years running every time for you to give this disastrous leadership. And then you, because you put 10 months, you are not feeling that. No, no, no. What have we done? Nothing. Every day I wake up, I've not done anything. Me and my mind, I'm ready. Okay. Is it rerun? Okay. But what do we do? Because those are some of the things that, that, that are happening now. Judiciary. If they were so sure of the judiciary, you won't be seeing conspiracy theory coming out. They are coming out to say that part to tell me. And uh, this one. Oh, I heard that uh, I ate $50 million. Uh, dollars. 
out of the campaign money that uh, Tinibu brought. Um, mommy, mommy, and, 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 you know, send my own. No, let me send you my zero number. Eh, <laughs> I beg, go. Then I send account number. Then we give share. <laughs> All of us for Valence Place. They said they put us for hotel. Now that hotel bill, now they go use now. At least we now hotel. We don't this. Oh, now hotel. Four people in the hotel. Yeah. It's a different thing. And some common say say they uh, me I, I go buy good. I'm like even when my CV saw this first woman say I buy land. Me I they build house there. I they build house rent. I know they buy good. Now lands I they buy. But you see, you see what this tells you is that they know they didn't win election. They know they left a lot of evidence. Up to now they have not been able to find joy and and celebrate their 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 stealing, their robbery, because. It is not yet, and we will not legitimize it. Tenebo can never, and will never be my president. No matter how much you steal, it will never be legalized. And the people of Nigeria are the ones with the power to say to him, you will never be our president. You might, you might be sworn, you know. People had May 29. So, uh, if May 29 happens, I will be the... Uh -huh. What is May 29? We will change the date now. It's even a good thing. So that presidency will be happening on its own. Uh, an Ambra election, it used to be May 29th. It will be sworn in. What well, no happened when it was not sworn in? It was because somebody changed it. And so, so May 29th, he goes there. I say, people, oh, if he enters, if he have immunity, ah, which nonsense immunity. Immunity will not mean that what these people are, the, the uh, tribunal cases, the election cases, we, we can't have immunity on it. Because it's a measure matter that's uh, Mama, if Tinubu was, Mama, if Tinubu was so powerful, Oyetola would still be governor of Oshun today, despite what it's, the Supreme Court said. Uh, Tinubu told us he's richer than Oshun states. Exactly. And his boy, Oyetola, from what we heard, is his cousin. But Oyetola, Adeleke, is there today. Exactly. So he's not that powerful. So it's, you know, like I said earlier, it's illusion they give. So they, they, they make you fear. You can say, hey, hey if he enter, da, which can Tinubu? Let it be terrible. I think I'll drop that thing. All of us, all of us, eh? No, I did tell you, I present this. None of us is alive in Nigeria. We are all dead. So they know they keep us away they already die. The only thing we say, the fish say, you know, if you Britain in Africa, you free Britain in Italy, but we're dead here. You understand? Is that fear, that illusion of fear? He can, some people say, oh, he can, if he becomes president, he controls judicial. What, what judicial will he control? There's no control he's going to have that if he does not already, already there. The people that control the judiciary are the Nigerian people. It's just that because all of this time, it used to be now them dead. After winning, nobody would care. And I've, I've said this thing before, and I'm going to repeat this thing here, that we as citizens, it's not the result to, that is our problem. It's the fact that the process was not allowed to be, and there was rigging. If in all honesty, because those were part of the things that we, when we're doing our scenario, we put on the table. If in all honesty, Nigerians had voted for Tinibu and the rest, oh, would have all moved now. Who would care about judicial uh, 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 petition? But Nigerians did not vote for Tinibu. Tinibu did not win the election. Nigerians knew who they wanted to vote for. And I see some people that will come, you know, all those people that, uh, that, that, are, uh, that want to show this whether I should call it passionately ignorant or they are clever by half, they will not come and say that, hey, how can you say Peter will be one when he didn't win? Uh, how many senators did he? How many did they were on the same day? Governor Uma, he gave that answer. Because me, I did, I did, I did carry, best way answer something. We are going to carry in answer. Governor Uma, he said he didn't know that there was a conspiracy even in his own family. His own family members said decided they were going to vote for Peter Obi for presidency and then do the rest for, for him and his party. That was what happened in Nigeria. People decided that, look, they were going to vote the, a candidate, not a party. And some people are coming to say, oh, Labour Party. What is Labour Party? Who cares about Labour Party? Labour Party was a vehicle. Peter Obi was like an independent candidate who had to run through a party because the Nigerian constitution does not recognize independent candidacy. And it was a vehicle. Who was in, who was in love with any uh, Labour Party? And it's normal for parties, for this, all of these politicians, 
and you get they all have people in all the parties it's normal now even you if you want to do something like that you, you will not put people everywhere if you guys remember i did a thread to say in, in a movement everybody is needed i said part of the, the last list i put i say we were moles in a movement you think we don't we don't have moles in all their accounts too it's normal they will put moles in your own but you know the level of information and you know how to weed things out because there are levels there are some there are some information we say no be you know past two people we know it gets what we be saying that three people know it gets what we say they will put everybody that's how it works so all of these parties they all have people that this one they're trying to say oh labor party it's sustainable that tells somebody to to come down first way no guy like the third person where you come down from another person this kind of talk they talk there. Oh, this one, so that they, you not, you know what they are trying to gauge to make you believe that. Oh, it wasn't really this all this power that you saw. It wasn't really Peter B and the people and obedient movement and Nigerian citizens that did it. It was actually Tinibu coming from Elda Lai. Tinibu they look for where one gate made and say get power, you no get anything. That's why the other time, even some religious ascribing some messages to religious uh, rulers and all of that. So it, it is, it's, a, it's a mind game that is being played. It's a psychological game that is being played. And so you don't have business for that. The business that we should have is to focus on that judiciary. In terms of uh, protest, look, let me tell you people something. As long, and I've been saying this thing again, I'll repeat it too. Me and I repeat myself a lot. As long as everybody is not inconsequential in the movement, there is no movement. This movement is not about, the, you know, one of the things that I hated was even the name obedient movement. And I think the first thing I wrote was that even the first I said, the only person that is going to be obedient is Peter B. Because it cities, the, 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 sorry, I hope you can hear me. Call just came in. The office of the citizen, yeah, go okay, on, go on. the office of the citizen is the highest office in the land. So nobody is going to be obedient to anybody. The, now, when the PO himself enter, he would be obedient. Wait, see. And so for me, that was the name. So it, it's not that oh, Peter Obi is the head of any movement. No. Peter Obi is a beneficiary of people's anger at the corrupt politicians. And he was able to be a beneficiary with his consistency in his character, in the things he did, and in the fact that all the years he had been consistently working for the people of Nigeria. Simple as ABCD. Who get who, who is here to like Peter Obi's face? Who is here to like his whatever? Nobody. But because of that, his consistency, because of that, his character, because of that father, that was why people say, okay, this is a person. And that was why even, you know, if on all of these things, uh, I said PDP people are running up and I said it on my, I said PDP is the most useless party that has been on the face of any world. And anybody can argue with me. I know they miss word for that one. 2015 election was PDPs to win. They threw it away. 2019 election was PDPs to win. They threw it away. 2023 election was PDPs to win. They threw it away again. And the only thing I did say, ah, thank God, because I would have ended up saying, ah, vote if, because if they had filled that uh, Peter Obi, I would have ended up saying, ah, vote PDP for Peter Obi. Vote Peter Obi in PDP. Then they, uh, they will not be taking my tweet where I used to say a uh, red card to uh, uh, APC or PDP. I say, I sure you say red card. Even if P uh, Peter Obi had run on APC, I share it so far. I would have still said, vote for uh, Peter Obi of APC. Because for me, it was candidate. They were the same. And I've kept maintaining the, the, those two parties are the same. And I've said the same before, and I'm going to repeat, just to take us back a bit. All these parties, they have competent candidates, but they don't fill them. In 2021, when I did it, I think it was uh, August, when I did a long trade for PDP, part of the things I said for them was, that, look, you need to read the room. You need to fill people like Peter Obi and Frank Wake Juno and retire people like, uh, what's his name, Atiku and uh, as Bukola Saraki. And they refused to do that. People were yearning for them. They refused to. So that so all these things, they are not coming to tell us that uh, Tinibu was the one in labor bringing in uh, 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 Patutomis. Patutomi is a Nigerian who, he said, he did all the circle. He knows them. When in this thing, people that fought for Abacha, people that did it, they were all together. So there's, there's no quarrel. 
in it or whatever. But now they are not coming to try and make that. Oh, they are the ones who made him. They get this money. It's a lie. They don't. Tinipu don't see say. Faunya. They had the take home. Faunya don't blow. Nothing did there. Now he's looking to ascribe powers to himself that he never had, and that's what he has done all this time. And then people will now be afraid of him. People will think I illusion. There's no illusion anyway. There's nothing. It was citizens who decided they were going to do something with uh, uh, Peter Obi, and they made it work. And who are these citizens? You. All of us. It, didn't they tell us that we will come a distant dead? Didn't they tell us that we will not win anything? Didn't they tell us that uh, Peter Obi will not get anything? So how all of a sudden Tinibu was the one sponsoring us when they said we were going to not get anything? When people were saying Lagos, didn't they say no? All they're doing right now is trying to ascribe powers to themselves, already preparing for defeat at the, uh, at the tribunals, and just putting this thing to say, okay, in case this asks for a rerun, let's begin to smear this thing. They are still in campaign mode. So for me, I will end up here by trying to say, look, for every one of us, we'll be in great. And I'm calling myself included, Aisha Yusuf, myself included. We will be in great if we do not look and appreciate the amazing thing that we have collectively been able to do. How many people have gotten to the National Assembly that ordinarily would not have gotten there? How many governors were trying to go to the National Assembly that, oh, you all stopped? How many people that would never have had hope in Nigeria that you gave hope to? How about now? What did they do now? 70-year-olds were going to register for the first time because you gave them hope. People who are in their 80s were, were registering to vote for the first time. And then you are ascribing that power to somebody that could not even give power to himself. Somebody that had to steal, that had to crudely be changing vote. Somebody that had to bring people to kill people. Somebody that had to bring people, the act bearers to come see. You know the most difficult thing to do, strategy to do, is to use the one of brain. If to say not to carry a gun or to say, oh, let's all go anyhow, let's go against the law. If you still say those people feel standards, but no, we will never be the things that we fight. We will never be the things we want to change. We will use our brain. And the next thing that we do is to form that strategy against their violence. And we will get it within the ambit of the law. So don't come and tell me about some strategy that Tinibu has. Tinibu has zero strategy. The only trust, uh, strategy he has is violence, is killing, is looting, is maiming, it's robbery. And that will never be the strategy that we will take. A new Nigeria has been bettered. I tell you what is happening to now. If, there are some, if you had told me it will happen in the next six years, we would have been happy. So don't you dare sit down and forget what you've achieved just because Oh, the war has not been won. And then you forget all the battles that you won. And then because, oh, some few battles have been taken away. No. As we go into, as we are talking about this tribunal, okay, who is the person that is most experienced here? Peter Obi. Peter Obi was, at the, was going to court for over three years. Even his wife, when she said about it, she said, she, she, Kukuma just left him and said, oh, God, you're the man, do they do your thing yourself? The guy stand there, giddy, bah. And then you return talk because uh, we just started tribunal. How many this thing ago? As for protest, there is nobody that was born to protest on behalf of anybody. When you want to reach that street, go and do it. And there is no one way of getting any result. That's the mistake we made. And I hate it when people say, oh, if it's not only this way, then it can't happen. And I saw one somebody say, I told you people to, to go and protest. Why didn't you go? You don't get head. Now two head, you, now two head the rest of us get. You don't get head. You don't get leg. You don't get hand. Take right for paper. Go stand for them. Other people follow you. You see that day, I told you people to go and protest. So since you people did not protest, you've lost it. Now we have to walk towards 2027. We are walking towards 2027 already. We are working on this thing. We are focused on the judiciary. Every one of them. If any judge cough, we're supposed to say, how the cough been a dry one or been a wet one? If any judge enter toilet, we're supposed to say, now tissue in use have been a water, I be combined boots. That's what we are saying when we say eye on the judiciary. And I think one of the things that needs to happen now again, apart from telling everyone, look, Timmy Paul, like I repeat, will never 
be my president. I showed, I said, they pay me. I had to, I went off a call. I had to call you. I said, if only they pay me, say, I did, I did, I know they in Niger. But I had to be here because this program I was supposed to do in during the election. I called this where I say, oh, I know if you come here to study democracy, when democracy they happen. So I can't ask for them to leave this now. But the day where, I, and some people say they, they are going to stay away if uh, Tinibu wins, now in Papa country. I've been in own Nigeria. As I enter, not my president. He can never be my president. Not my president in the book. He can never. He stole it and that must remain so. So it's not only one way towards getting an answer. There are multiple ways and they all have to be deployed. For those, some people have been protesting. Amazing. Keep doing that if they have this thing. What is it? Peter will be to come and tell us to protest or not to protest. It's not his own. His own will be to say, I'm going, if he wants to protest, say, I'm on the protest, I'm going to be there. And then it will be for people to say they want to join, not to say, no, because you see, the, let me tell you something. The obedient movement is not about anybody. The obedient movement is a voting block that every party will end up being afraid of. To say, ah, if we don't bring somebody who is comp competent, these people, we know what they will do. And it is not us. It's not any one person that has control. Nobody can ever have control over it. And nobody can see the end of it. This is something that should be here for the next 50 years. So that our children's children, grandchildren's grandchildren will be saying yes. So that a hundred years from now, some people will say, ah, there were some people who called themselves obedient to, they were the ones that said this course on, on Nigeria on the right course. So you thinking that you're, but it's okay. And one of the things everybody must understand, and I'll, I'll bring, bring back our guest movement to this, because that's the way we used to, it's a free entry, free exit movement. Anytime that anybody is tired, move and go. Anytime that any